What up, YouTube? This is Kurt here, and uh, I'm gonna start a new game on Banjo Kazooie, and I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play widescreen here, yeah, cause uh, I don't know. It's, it's a cool function, and I want to play widescreen. So, yeah, I'm just doing a let's play just for the fun of it. Um, do it the whole way through. This is such a classic game to me. Um, it's one of the most important, like, of my childhood, and it honestly looks like so. It looks so so good on. The, an emulator, and uh, it looks so much better than it did back in the day, just uh, by putting it on your computer. And don't worry, I own this. I own this copy in real life, so yeah, it's not like uh, I'm getting away with something by having this ROM here. But yeah, we'll just get through this cutscene here. I'll calm on, on a little bit, but uh, I'll go through some periods. I'm just playing the game, of course. Um, but I might give a little background about myself. I, I've been. Uh, I'm gonna get not like a really serious hardcore gamer, but I probably play video games at least once a day f since the time I was 13, and now I'm I'm about 27 now. Um, but N64 it really brings back a lot of memories for me. Um, yeah, I went from playing N64. That was pretty much my first first like major console, and then GameCube. Then Xbox 360. I didn't really play the Wii that much, but I played a little bit of DS since then. Um, but there haven't been that many major titles I've I've uh, I've played since probably 2010. But I mean, I did play Skyrim and things like that, so that was a big thing for me. But going back to Banjo Kazooie. All, all around, just a really solid game. And as far as platforms, it's one of the first great 3D platforms that you'll find. So, if you're a really serious gamer and you like to enjoy things, I would recommend playing Banjo Kazooie. Um, I had a couple drinks <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So, my commentary might be a little slurred, but not that bad. I didn't drink that much. But hopefully, you enjoy the intro here. Yeah, you see, maybe there's a maybe there's a widescreen, um, like uh, graphics thing for this. If there is, I haven't downloaded it. I don't care about it that much. I think just overriding the aspect ratio is good enough for me. I don't really care that much about things rendering to the correct speed. On the downside, I tried to I tried to emulate Breath of the Wild, and I almost got it going. I actually did get it going, but it turns out my CPU is not powerful enough for um, for Breath of the Wild. And I couldn't figure out how to limit my frames so I could maybe compensate for that. And that is the crappy part of that. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just install a better CPU at some point. And then I'll play Breath of the Wild. Because to me, my favorite uh, Zelda was probably, uh, well, it was definitely Twilight Princess. I loved Twilight Princess. Okay, so now we begin the game. We need bottles. Bottles is really helpful. Yeah, he doesn't have that much of a personality, but he's really helpful. Where's my sister Tootie? The witch came down and grabbed her. I already know those moves. Um, there's not really a point in learning them, so I'm just gonna skip them. But I will show all of the. Yeah, we'll show all of the empty honeycombs here. And actually, this will probably be a 100% run through. 
It won't be a speed run or anything like that, but I'll try to make it a 100% because, like, I know this game really well. Um, so yeah, we'll just jump around and get the empty honeycombs here. I need an extra honeycomb piece. Click six of us to increase your energy bar. Do some beak busters. That's the beak buster I'm doing here. There we go. And honestly, like, well, when it comes to speed running, I think speed running is cool. I know a lot of people that do. S I mean, I don't know them personally, but I've watched a lot of speed runs. And, but it's probably something I'm never going to try, just because, I don't know. To me, I just don't have the desire to speedrun. It doesn't really, it only interests me to watch certain speedruns and see all the glitches. And I like the learning aspect of it, but as to actually train myself to be able to do a speedrun. I just, for me, I don't really care. Because it almost feels like you're trying to compete with something, but I guess you can kind of compete against the world record, but I don't get a great sense of competition out of it. So I'll probably never try actual speedrunning. Although I've tried to do, like, faster runs of, like, Super Mario 64. Like, I've tried to do faster runs just to, like joke around and like, oh, let's see how much I remember about this game, but I'll probably never speedrun. I don't think, I just don't think it's worth for me. Lately, I've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2, just because I, I'm nostalgia, I guess. I was able to download it, I spent so many hours on it back in the day. And that was just known as, for a long time, that was known as the best Call of Duty to come out. It's probably known as the best Call of Duty all the way through Black Ops 2. And I don't even know how the Call of Duty have been since then. But, I do remember there was a time when Modern Warfare 3 was like 30 bucks, and Modern Warfare 2 was still like 50. Like, at the same exact time on the shelf, because people preferred that game so much. So that's kind of crazy. Okay, so, honestly, Spiral Mountain is just, I really like the design of it. One thing I really like about Banjo-Kazooie is that it's such a goofy game. I mean, a bear and you have the bird of the backpack. That's one thing I really like. I'll go through all the cutscenes with you guys just because, for anybody that might not have played, maybe you enjoy watching, but... I think the story is a big part of any game. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. I forget, do we... I don't know if we... I think we see 2D. In banjo 2 -y. But I forget. Hey, Mr. G, I'm going to find a picture of the pizza. <laughs> so yeah, for this video, let's see if we can... You must fill in the missing spaces. We got the first six obvious, Gaga Boy. Yay! That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. <laughs> Some of the rhymes are kind of lame on here. 
Alright, so since this is, I'm gonna do a 100% playthrough. I kind of hate collecting all the notes in some of these. I mean, there's only 100, so it's not that bad, I guess. But it doesn't save at all from one play to the next. So, sometimes I get a little paranoid about that. But I know the level's well enough to where I won't die or anything. Grab one of those oranges, steal it, give it to this monkey over here. And you get a jiggy just for doing that. First levels are so easy, aren't they? Now we gotta hit Conga. Now for some reason his hitbox... His hitbox won't reset until uh, he throws more oranges at you. But whatever. Oh. <laughs> that one... They go so fast. Bear beats Conga. Be give price. Alright, now I'm getting tired of running with Banjo. I want to move a little bit faster, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go do what Bottles is telling me to do. And go get the tower try. Look, Kazooie tackles steep slopes to these. Mumbo tokens, those are important for Mumbo. And if you get a lot early, then it's just it just saves you a lot of time. I tend to actually get too many of them. Because I just play this game so much I know all their locations and stuff, but
There, got up to 60 there. All right. Now, I'm gonna go in here. And there actually is something you can take advantage of. Um, you can take advantage of the mechanics on this if you wish to. Um, I don't know if I can do it. I'll probably just end up doing the amp. But in case you didn't know, like, you get a split second to jump. Ah. So yeah, since I failed that time, you can actually... If you're doing speed runs, you can get all the way up to the top, but I'm not doing a speed run, so... Just wanted to show you guys that interesting fact for those that maybe want to speed run or things like that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Gotta go get this move. Oh, sorry, I skipped that. I don't want to skip a uh, text here, but that's okay. This this is the beak buster. We got the beak buster. Boom. This will come in uh, handy a lot. Jinjo! Oh, I love... I love Mumbo Mountain. It's just... Well, it's so easy, and it's just such a relaxing... Such a relaxing level. Now, up here... Ah, shit. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot that you have to get to... Yeah, in order to get one of the empty honeycomb pieces, you have to leave one of those behind, but I'll go ahead and get that afterwards. I'll have to re-enter the level to get, to, to get that one. That's okay. Mumbo. Me, Mumbo. Best shaman in all game. Can't help Banjo, a filthy feathered one. Oops, sorry. Guys, alright, go. Uh Got distracted for a second. All right. Uh, I need five. I need five of those mumbo. Yeah, <laughs> I was just looking at my Tinder. I don't know if any of you guys use Tinder. I a common thing about like I think all people that use Tinder is that they hate it, but they also feel like they need to use it. What's well, weird? I don't know. The older you get, the more weird dating becomes, I guess. Like uh, why? Well, uh, like our generation is just like so. We have so many. We have so many choices and it just kind of makes things weird. That's what makes things weird. We have we have the curse of opportunity, I guess. Don't want to talk too much about deep philosophical stuff here, but yeah, it's okay to talk about some a few different things, I guess here and there. Woo, got the rest of the Jinjos. 
All right, I'm missing a mumbo token. Um, uh, I might know where it is. It might be... Yeah, for me, well, as far as going back to the textures, it doesn't really annoy me. The textures don't really annoy me if they don't load or some of the parts of the map. Well, as long as the background, as long as the background map, like the walls, as long as they load, it doesn't really annoy me if some other things don't load on the map, considering the widescreen. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know how everybody else feels about that, but... Yeah, I only have 94. Damn it. Which means I have to find a mumbo token somewhere. Oh wait, I have five. I have five. Alright, so since I have five, I can go get the rest of them. And we'll be all gravy. We'll be all gravy, Joe. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oops. Oops. Mumbo magic free to change back. You come run ready. Ha. Huh. Yeah, the transforming was really cool about this game. Alright, so... Honestly, we, we want... We want Banjo-Kazooie 3. We, a lot of us who are watching this video, we want it to happen. But ever since Nintendo sold off, well, I think it was either Rare or Banjo-Kazooie, they sold it off to Microsoft. It's just been crappy. Yeah, it's just been made for a crappy situation. And I don't know if we'll ever see it, unfortunately. It's very unfortunate that, uh... Yeah, we might never get an actual... Oh, shit. Just went all down there. It's unfortunate we might never get uh, another Banjo-Kazooie platform. Because... Just because of something so stupid as rights. I just wish... I wish Microsoft would just turn over the rights to... Or, like, sell at a really low price the rights to Banjo-Kazooie. That would just be awesome. Sell it back to Nintendo, and I think... I think they would do something with it, to be honest. I think they would do something with it if they had the rights back. But it's honestly really hard to tell. Everything is about demand. And while there, I think there would be a modest demand for a banjo, a nostalgia banjo kazooie game done right, unlike y ukulele, which people really didn't like all that much. It would be nice to have that. But once again, I don't know what's going to happen. Also, I also found it really interesting that termites could breathe underwater, apparently. <laughs> but alright. Yeah, there's also, there's actually a glitch while well, using the step method. You can actually get up that hill while not being the termite. You can skip the termite this level and actually still do a 100% speed run. Interestingly enough, but again, we're not speed running. We're just doing a let's play. Alright, now I'm just getting that extra honeycomb piece that I missed because... Night for going in. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So remember, do three, three of the totem thingies on the totem pole.
There, now we get up here to do the flip flap. Now we got them both. Alright, now get to the... We get up here. Get out of the map, map here. I think, yeah, we'll go into part two.